And Rigo, could you come on up and talk to us about the beautiful art that you created? Well, good morning. Um, thank you for, I'd like to thank, you know, the city of San Leandro for this opportunity. Um, and in particular, you know, Chris Zapata for um, reaching out to me at a very particular time um, when things weren't going so well. And can you hear? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I wanted to thank Chris for um, contacting me at a time when this work was, I had just been told it was not going to happen. So just like the butterflies, the mural also migrated across the <laughs> migrated across the bay. And um, I also want to acknowledge what um, Father Vassar said about the people that make up this town and where people come from. And um, I was moved to hear that. Um, and I also know that now these artists come from pretty high up on the hierarchy of the Catholic Church. Um, <laughs> that uh, you know, the first place that the new pope traveled to was uh, Lampedusa, right? It's an island south of Italy where the immigrants that are trying to come into the European fortress from Africa oftentimes are detained and jailed and quarantined and then sent back to a place where it's very hard to make a living. So um, we have a militarized border at the southern end of the state uh, with three parallel walls and barbed wire and it's not a pretty picture. So it's good to see that the spiritual and religious leadership is moving beyond the civilian and military leadership that we have. So thank you for the feelings to express. And, um, you know, I think that if a, you know, a living creature, and we all are supposed to have come from the same place, with four inches wingspan can travel the territory of NAFTA, why shouldn't sentient beings like human beings be able to do the same? Um, so I think the Las Mariposas Monarchas they speak for many people, and um, I did not know this, that the origin of the Day of the Dead celebration in Mexico and um, the colors of Halloween all come from this very small creature that would arrive in the um, Sierra Madre Oriental around the end of October, beginning of November, by the hundreds of millions. And um, people said, what else could this be but the souls of our ancestors, right? Makes sense. And that's where the worshipping of the Day of the Dead comes from. It stems from the return of the butterflies to the spawning grounds, as Brian Tripp would say. Um, uh, so it's a, it was a great honor to be able to do this here. But I would like to thank the people that worked with me, uh, that made it possible, Aron, who replaced with the improving of the wall here, and um, Rebecca Lafour, the, is a cartographer that actually did the, the map. So the map is very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> and John Fadef, that um, worked with the city of San Francisco for many years in, the, in different um, responsibilities, but one of them was in the traffic sign division, so the traffic sign has also gotten some good professional help. <laughs> Ella Tiedemann, she's not here, but we went to um, art school together. Actually, that's what connects us with art. Um, and also, like um, the mayor mentioned about the five things that make a good city. Thanks for including, including the arts in that. Um, yeah, I think just like sports, you know? Sports are good for you because it's good for your body and your mind. and and that's why art is good for you. Um, sometimes we think that sports are good to produce sports stars, or that art is good because it produce, uh, produces art stars, but that's not why art is good. That's not why sports is good. It's good in and of itself, right? 
it's good for your body, it's good for your spirit. Um, so don't let the art art stars blind sign blindside you in terms of why art is good for people. Art is good for everybody, you know. Um, it's not. It doesn't only make sense when there's a certain level of achievement, or you know, it makes sense in and of itself. So, thank you uh, for welcoming this work. And, uh,